Hey everybody, welcome back. We're getting out here today in the nice sun. 100 degrees. So we're gonna work on this third gen and the fourth gen, but we're gonna start on this here. So I wanna change these lights out inside the interior, the dome light, the map lights. I went down and bought them cheap Sylvania ones just to see if they would work because I always see these videos and they don't work and they throw codes and so we're going to jump in here. We're going to do it on the third gen and then we'll jump over to the fourth gen and do it. I'll show you the bulb types, the numbers. So let's get in here and get started. So now that we're in the truck. So for these lights, I already took my covers off. They're very simple, very simple. Right, it's set up here like so, and that's it. Oh, dropped it. This one's already broke, the little tab's broke here. We'll get a good one, I'll show you the difference. You see the tab there. So they just set up in there like so. So I'm not gonna get into that. I guess we'll do another video on that, on pulling these off. I had to order some new ones. When they come in, we'll put a video out on that. This video's purpose is if these LEDs will work from your ch your cheap LEDs from the auto parts. So this is what it looks like during the day with your regular light in there. That's not too attractive in my opinion. So we're gonna get in here. I gotta shut my door real quick because uh, that light bulb is hot, hot, hot. Get my tools out, got my handy dandy tools. Right? And a rag, I need a rag. Like I said, that bowl was hot. Get my old oil changer rag. So you're just gonna take a little tool, put it up in here, slightly pry down. See that? Comes right out. Oh, oh, the whole thing broke. Look at that. Reckless nature. See that? So I guess on that note, that sucks. Take your tool, push up on your clip, and see if you can't pull your bulb out. Or be smart about it and wait for it to cool down and then take it out. So with that being said, while that cools down we'll get into this dome light right here and that is going to be it's a 194 is what it calls for so i bought these it's a 168 but it also says it fits a 194 so we're going to throw it in and see if it works so first things first we got to pop this lens up you get your small screwdriver start on the driver's side do it from the driver's side you don't want to pry down from the passenger side from the driver's side and then just gently gently pull i'll show you where them clips are at in just a second so with that being down there's a clip right here on this side and a clip right there on the opposite side so this bulb should be cool enough then you pull it out you, my bad you pull it out a little bit so it'll swing down like so that bulb's still pretty hot too. But that's all right, that's all right. We're gonna use this rag and pull it out. Bam, simple as that. So with that, now we're gonna pop this open and see what we got, see if it works. I got, a, I got an idea for this up here. Just give me a second. And it's hot, I'm sweating. It's hot, it's like 100 degrees out here. Doing the best we can. So here we go. Let's pop it in here and see. So with these LEDs, before you get crazy, just barely put them in there, right? Because you're gonna have to, you might have to flip it over. So you're gonna put it in there, right? Like so, and, and then pop your door open. See how it's not on? So you take it, you flip it over, put it right back in. See that? Bam, there it is. So I'll show you it like this. That's what it looks like with that. I think that's a better look. 
tonight I'll give y'all enough. I'll, I'll put a little segment in here to where you see what it looks like at night to see if it's a better uh, luminance or not. So for now, we're gonna get some things set up and then I'll get back with y'all here in just a second. All right, we're getting back now. So I got that bulb out of there. I got that piece to slide back in there. Let's see how well this bulb will hold in there. This is the 212-2. All right, on the wrapper it shows 211-2, but it also fits a 212-2, which that's the bulb I just took out of here. That's this bulb right here. So let's see what this one will do. Let's see if it's gonna work or if it's not. Because them things are falling apart. Here goes nothing. And it's on. And it works. And it went out. And let's check one more thing. Oh. Tell me that ain't what's up. I like that. It almost looks like it's got a direction on it. Like so. Maybe not. Maybe not. So the good thing is, is that they do work in these trucks. If you want to just jump down, buy you some quick ones at the auto parts. You're like, hey, I want to do that to my Ram. Now you can get into it. Yeah, that's what's up. I like it. So let's see if we can't snap these things back on. getting crazy on it look there you go hey everybody I just wanted to get back at y'all real quick about that video shutting off kind of give a little ending so it started raining you can't see got a little bit hot and sunny one minute raining the next so with that being said, the bulbs worked in the truck, but everything kept breaking. The little clips was breaking, the lenses are breaking, everything is breaking. So I just want to give a little shout out saying that's what happened, that's what's up. So like and subscribe, leave a comment. I got a video coming out tomorrow with the 4 Gen, same type of LED bulb. We'll get into it and see if it works. If it don't work, who knows, we'll see what's happening. Keep living the dream, doing your thing, and I'm out on a rainy day.